Dr. Shelley Nebel, and Shelley is beginning her second term uh, in the Edith Lando Professorship in Social and Emotional Learning, but she keeps regenerating her vision, so we look forward to hearing <laughs> Thank you. I am really honored to be named again as the Edith Lando uh, Professor in Social Emotional Learning. Um, I've actually had the pleasure of working with the Lando family for nearly two decades now. And given their ongoing support, I've been able to promote social and emotional learning in summer camps uh, and inner city programs for children with social problems. Uh, through research promoting social emotional learning and addressing problems of school violence and bullying, and through university training programs, and I am really excited to continue in this role. Social emotional learning, for those of you who are not familiar with it, um, social emotional development unfolds very gradually during the time children are in school. Um, and research over the past two decades has verified the, f the critical importance of these skills. Basically, we now know these competencies to be master skills. They underlie everything we do, with a primary focus on the importance of relationships, not only between among students, but between adults and students in schools. Popularized in North America by the Collaborative for Academic Social and Emotional Learning, or CASEL, in the U.S., there's now a growing body of research documenting the immediate and long-term effects of social-emotional learning, not just for children's social and emotional behavior, but also for their academic and cognitive development, their success in school, and their success in life. As part of this professorship, um, we have included three major foci that includes both training and research. With regard to training, uh, Dr. Kim Schonert Reichel and I have established a unique concentration at the master's level in social emotional learning in the human development, learning, and culture program in our department. Um, it's in its fifth year of operation now, and we have approximately five to six new students every year that adopt this program and promote SEL in their, in their teaching and in their research. We've also established two cohorts of students within the teacher education training program here at the Faculty of Education, uh, which is now in its fourth year. The 36 students that are enrolled every year in this uh, this, uh, cohort, these cohorts undergo the standard teacher education training program, but with an emphasis on SEL. And as part of this professorship, I oversee both of these programs. And with the support that we receive from the professorship, we're able to provide several additional training opportunities that really enhance the quality of the work that they, they get. Um, we, we, for example, start the teacher education groups with a ropes course, where they basically learn the first of all, they create community, a sense of community among their group, but they also learn how to teach kids co how to cooperate experientially. We've also uh, are able to give them supplementary workshops on things like restitution and restorative justice, mindfulness, and other SEL-based programs. So we really, it's the value added to their training to become teachers. And what we're hearing is that these people, these students are getting jobs, even in the UK, as well as Canada and the United States, mostly because they have the SEL background, so we're very proud of that. In addition, thanks to support from Wendy Carr, the, our Associate Dean in Teacher Education, I've been able to provide an, two introductory workshops at the beginning of every academic year uh, for the new students, all the students that are in our teacher education program. And what I do in those workshops is to basically provide a lens through which they can sort of integrate that lens or integrate with the rest of their training to look at social emotional learning as a critical part of their teaching and as um, basically the foundation for promoting mental health literacy in schools. And feedback from our instructors verify that, that the, this is very effective and to have this initial effort with students continuing to echo the value of SEL and, and maintain it as a focus in their training throughout their first their year of, of schooling. With regard to knowledge uh, creation and dissemination, uh, I oversee a very active uh, social emotional education and development research lab, or SEED lab, um, of masters and doctoral students from our programs. And it includes both my own advisees as well as those of other faculty members who are interested in SEL. And we have about 15 to 20 students that meet on a weekly basis throughout the academic year and collaborate with one another and with me on a range of different research projects. 
Now, if, by way of background, my research over the past uh, too many years, four decades, has uh, focused on the development of interpersonal relationships and what goes wrong when those relationships fail. Um, and the research from the Seed Lab following that, that lead has focused on peer relationships in schools, studying things like the impact of peer rejection, the power of, of peer popularity and status, the development of social emotional competencies, cultural and ethnic identity, and the impact of school climate, as well as addressing problems of discrimination, school violence, and victimization. Um, since 2012, when I first began in the professorship, um, the Lando professorship, our social emotional development lab has published 25 journal articles and chapters within these areas and 50 presentations at local, national, and international conferences, including two recent special issues, one of which just came out in June in the flagship journal American Psychologist, which summarizes 40 years of research on school bullying and we hope has made a difference in the field. Um, I've also been able to present over 20 invited and keynote presentations to academic audiences since the start of this professorship. Over the coming three years, we want to continue this. We're on a roll. We're going. And um, we're shifting our focus a little bit. We're moving more internationally in hopes of addressing larger and probably more pressing world issues. Specifically, we're going to be conducting uh, research exploring cultural variations in uh, people's beliefs about retaliation and revenge, something that's very important in cyberbullying, uh, in collaboration with Dr. Karen Fry from the University of Washington and visiting professor Dr. Noam Lapidot from Haifa University. In addition, over the past year, we've started to work with a group called the Center for Global Non-Killing. And this is an interdisciplinary international group that's basically trying to get people from around the world together to say, how do we stop war and killing in the world? My contribution is to look at whether we can do this through education, and in particular, through the promotion of SEL. Finally, with regard to knowledge translation and mobilization, our team works collaboratively with schools and school districts to help educators to foster SEL in their classrooms and schools and to evaluate whether what they're doing is actually working. To this end, um, we've been involved in an ongoing five-year study of school climate and bullying involving approximately 20 schools every year. And we deliver, um, to, we get, evaluate what's happening over the course of time in terms of their student body and social emotional skills, as well as um, uh, com over 30 community uh, presentations and school workshops for these uh, districts to help to evaluate their effectiveness and to promote SEL. And we're going to continue this over the next three years. Most importantly for me, and I'm really happy to tell you about this today, um, we have, over the past year, with further support from the Lando Foundation and from two other foundations, we have just launched, uh, we've developed and just launched a unique online site, the SEL Resource Finder. And this site is designed as a one-stop a shop where educators and other adults who work with children and youth can find resources to promote SEL, including information, lesson plans, programs, activities, videos, books, etc. Uh, this is in keeping with um, uh, another project that's going on with the Faculty of Education, uh, a tri-university program to look at mental health literacy as well as SEL. And we think of SEL as sort of a foundation for mental health literacy, creating the context in which kids can learn and get help and support for mental health literacy, as well as um, promoting uh, positive acceptance in the classroom. So our website uh, has two different sort of sections of it, one on SEL information and another on mental health literacy. Uh, we just launched the site this, this fall, in fact, last month, um, through our teacher education program, as well as uh, SELBC, which is a, um, a, a sort of an informal group that's been meeting for about eight years of university faculty and educators from eight to ten school districts in the Lower Mainland whose job is to promote SEL in their schools. We also host a provincial conference each year in Compass for the promotion of SEL in schools. The next one to be October 23rd, and we are featuring uh, Dr. Matthew Lieberman, who is looking at the social brain, how our brains are wired for social and emotional learning. Um, I'm really proud about this website, and I have some cards here if people are interested in, in, in looking at it a little bit further. But I just want to say, and especially to you, Roberta, um, we couldn't have done this without your support.
and I am so thrilled to continue, and my students are thrilled to continue with that support over the years. So thank you very much, and I look forward to playing some more. <laughs> thank you. Questions for Shelley, why? Well, I have a comment, Shelley. First, thank you very much. Uh, but one of the uh, uh, things that you didn't list, and since impact is critically important these days, is the new BC education plan. I only had five <laughs> slides, you know. <laughs> so, I think many people in the room yeah. would know that the province of British Columbia has just come out somewhat recently with a new plan called BC Education Plan. And, so she, and that document is actually saturated with aspects of Shelley and her colleagues work and the teachers that were in the schools are, so that one of the seven or nine core competencies <laughs> in this province is now social and emotional learning. Yeah. Who'd have thought? Right, 10 years yeah. ago. So I, I just wanted to... And we do like that. to think that we've had some part in yeah. promoting that. And we're that. thrilled to see it yeah, so uh, operate. Thank that's you. A, yeah, that's a, a kind of a broad impact. In the yeah. It was slide six. <laughs> I just couldn't fit it in. I think the other part that I'm involved in is the uh, work with Martin Goon and, and the people at the Human Early Learning Partnership. And they're also doing this kind of work through the uh, Middle Years Development Inventory. So we've got lots of fingers and lots of pies. And they taste good. <laughs> Thank you very much. Another great example great. of bringing together people in a thematic area yeah. and great work. So Thank you. Thanks so much. Thanks very much. Thank you.